redraft 2021. Obviously, Micah Parsons probably goes number one overall, but of the five QBs, Trevor Lawrence is still an NFL QB. But if you had to do the four other guys, isn't it possible that Trey Lance is having the best season of the other four guys? We don't know <laughs> about Trey Lance. Wouldn't you take Trey Lance over Zach Wilson, Mac Jones, and Justin Fields. Yes, of course. I'd I'd much rather be Trey Lance and have people in Big D talking about like maybe we should run him out there instead of uh, Dak Prescott versus what Zach Wilson's going through right now. Like Trevor Simeon, who hasn't played football in uh, in six years and who we signed three days ago, is probably gives us a better shot at winning the game than you do, kid. Second overall pick. That's a humiliation that you can't come back from. But Trey Lance really hasn't been given the opportunity. It's interesting that... Mac Jones is embarrassing himself out there grabbing other men uh, on the football field by their unmentionables. The Mac Jones floater vaguely in the vicinity of Juju Smith. Like these plays are like third and three feels like a Hail Mary. I'm just going to throw it up and hope. It's like, where's Welker? Where's Edelman? The Pats offense is, is so terrible for Chicago. And like Spaghetti and I were talking about this bear situation. Like I know people are like fire the coach, but it's not week 14. They do that thing where they're like, you're not coming back. So we're going to fire you now and promote the special teams coach. It's September. How do you clean a house? Like it's so hard to you know bring someone in or promote somebody. I know people talk about the phenomenon of the Bears never having a QB and the Brown. I love that subject, obviously, because in a salary cap era, which is now, you know, what, 30 years old now, you almost have to try to not luck your way into a halfway decent. Like how has a halfway decent QB not fallen into the Bears' lap in 58 years? It's crazy. You can't ascribe it to bad luck or anything. Obviously, you can have some of that. Like, it's wild that the Bears, in 58 Super Bowl years, their best QB is either Jay Cutler or Jim McMahon. How can this persist as long as it has?